How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. We are gonna be doing some bullfrog hunting later today. Uh, we want to try something we've never done before, which is slingshot. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty decent with the slingshot. Not great, not amazing, but decent. We're gonna try it. But first things first, we gotta take care of the animals, as you guys know. Um, some of you guys might be wondering about the little babies. I fed them earlier this morning. I fed them around like 7 o'clock, which it's not 7 o'clock right now. So you guys didn't get to see that, but next time I will be sure to bring you guys along. Pigs! Hey! <laughs> Come on, pigs. Look at them. Come on, pigs. Wake up. Wake up. What are you guys doing? You guys hungry? Look at that. They dug all that out yesterday. Good job, guys. I don't know if that's really a good thing for my soil or not. This would be a great garden, though. I'll tell you what. Hey, don't touch the fence. Favorite time of the day. There you guys go. Two scoops for you guys. Munch, munch, munch. You guys, your, your mud puddle is looking pretty good, though. It's still, it's still muddy. Can you not? Can you calm down? No, you, no, the pigs do not like you. Quit trying to open the gate. <laughs> oh, Millie, Millie thinks everybody's her friend. And really, honestly, none of these animals like her because... Rooster! Oh, yeah, I forgot I let you guys out. I let the chickens out. I didn't put them away. I'm kind of back on that grind again. I know I could regret it, but I don't see any. How many we got right there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be nine. We're gonna, we're gonna need to do a roll call. Um, I let the chickens rip. They just kept looking like they wanted out really bad. And so I felt bad. And I know, like, they might die, but I mean... I see some chickens, so not all of them are dead, that's for sure. How many did you count? We should have nine. There's one, there's one right there inside the coop. Oh God, look at these guys. What are you guys doing? Rooster, <laughs> Millie, hey, quit chasing the rooster. Quit chasing him. So two, four, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The amount of grass that's popping Yeah, isn't that here crazy? Like a, look at this. It's all it's all grassy now. Oh Anyways, I think we're good on chickens. If anything, we're missing one. But I'm sure they're, they're they're just chilling or something in here. Anyways, we got distracted. Sorry. I'm gonna turn on this water here. This is gonna fill up the duck water all the way over there. Make sure they're good. And then I'm gonna go check on the fish. Now our little ponds are really not looking all that great. Um, the the uh, turtle ponds are really not looking great. I need to get a filter or something in there. Um, how's this going? Our minnow pond. Oh, I mean, we still got minnows that are alive. A lot of dead minners. And, uh, oh, rip. Oh, rip. There's two of them. Oh, those are the walleye. Oh, rip. We lost two walleye. One there and one there, it looks like. What is that, a snake? No way. It is a snake. Oh. I was joking. Oh, jeez. I just about died. There's a it's snake. Right next to the walleye. Oh, yeah. Look at oh. that. Guy. Does not smell good. It smells rank. I mean, the bass might eat what's it. Dead yeah, what's it? dead right next to it? Oh, that's a shiner. I threw a shiner or a chub. This? Yeah, yeah, I bought that. Holy crap. Yeah, they didn't. He was oh, dead and they didn't like him. Yep, probably not gonna eat them still. Well, we lost one walleye, two walleye, and some minners. That's not a good sign. Millie, don't drink out of that water. It's gross. We got dead snakes in there. Everything's dying out here. <sighs> Cheese and freaking rice. I mean, the bass are still alive. I still see the bass. No. All five bass are still there. Nah, he's no. he's KO'd, KO'd. Milk toast. That's milk toast. Poor guy. Oh, God. Oh, get that out of here. <laughs> That's good raccoon bait there, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then look that at this. Gross. It looks like jello. It's not looking good. Oh, there, Junior's yeah. in the middle. He's in the middle right there. Well, let's make sure he's still alive. He was good earlier. Oh yeah, he's alive. Oh, he's yeah. alive. Let's make sure he's sleeping. Cheese and rice. This is this is nasty. This is not this is not good living condition, folks. We gotta fix we gotta fix this today. This honestly is not looking that bad. It's actually like fairly clear. I don't know why all these fish are just all of a sudden dying dying, but like doesn't the water looks decent. It doesn't look like this. It looks clean. I don't know why all fish are dying. Just That's the only thing I can think of is the wall. I just never ate those minnows, which is just I I don't know why. Um, we are gonna get some more goldfish. Uh, I think that's the key. That and some bullheads. We fed them all the bullheads that we caught already, though. Dang, this is gross. We should probably uh, should probably fix this water. Shoo! Well, folks, it's windier and heck out here. Uh, we're gonna hold off on the uh, the, the old turtle water situation here. We got to get these guys fed. You guys hungry or what? How's it going, little duckies? How's it going, turkeys? I think I I, think I named the turkeys. You, you I named the turkeys. You, you want to hear it? You ready for this moment? I'm so ready. It's a, it's a big moment. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I kind of like it. You like it? I sure. Because like then you don't you don't mix them up. Because they're all named Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You know what I mean? All right. So these guys are named Ed, Ed, and Eddie. These, they're just hanging out. We need to get them. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I saw that. I, little little raccoon could probably crawl in there. Anyways, I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm gonna give them some grain here. All right, turkey. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, you guys hungry? All right, here we go. I think the chickens are. Look at this. Hey, this is, you already have some in your feeder. They think they're mealworms. Hey, back up. Back up, Ed. Look at them. They're freaking starving. We got another one. Merry Christmas. Hey, get chickens. Ch get out of here, chickens. Get out. Hey, hey, out. Hey, out. 
veggies and rice. It's like a circus out here. We, oh, we got quail eggs. Let's see more. One. We got one. We got two. We got two quail eggs. We got three. I feel like there's got to be one in here. You think? Oh, there's one. Oh, I knew it. Is there we one got under four. There? Yeah, he knew it. Oh, wow. Good job, quail. Doing big things. All right, we got four of them. Harvest season. That'll, that'll be good. What if what if we use the quail for the egg, the frog leg? Or is that too delicate? It's probably maybe too, too much of a delicacy. Is that kind of a waste? Know, maybe that would be good, though. It could, we could try it. I'm down. We could try I like it. both. I also have some quail that I could chow the other day that we could eat with the frog legs, assuming we get frogs. So we got four quail legs. Dale, are you hungry, Dale? You want some food? <laughs> Boom. Carol, what are you doing, Carol? I hope see you later, Carol. Here you go. Good llama. Is that a good llama? Dale, are you a good llama too? There you go, buddy. All right, I'll give you some more. Here you go, llama. Hello. Oh! Steve, <laughs> Steve, we don't need round two, Steve. Get out of there, Steve. Steve, get out of there, Steve. Steve just about got his ass kicked again. You guys, I gave you enough grain llama, all right? You don't need it. Oh, let's give some to Buttercup, though. Here you go, Buttercup. She knows the drill. What up, Buttercup? Right here, Junior. You ready? There you go. Bony apple feet, son. Look at the babies. You guys miss your brothers? They're just hanging out in the garage, living their best life. You guys are growing, it looks like, so that's good. One of them's bigger than the oh, other. Oh, they're eating grain. Are they really? Yeah, the one on the left. Oh, really? Do you guys well. like grain? We need to name the other two. Right now, we've got two of these guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, this this old woman here, she birthed four freaking children. We had to take two of them because she couldn't keep up with feeding them. So we named them Kevin and Diego, and they're freaking chill. And uh, they live in the garage. Like I said, I didn't show you guys that today because I fed them earlier, but I'll show you guys in in the next video. But they still got they still got two little guys. And Bonzo just said they all, saw me eating some grain, so that's good. That means they're probably getting pretty close to weaning. Usually, wean them after a couple weeks. But she's looking look, looking real skinny, so we got to make sure she's getting her nutrition. Can you not? Listen, they are not, they don't like you. Even the ones in the garage don't really like you. Actually, you know what's funny is I let Millie out in the garage with them and she, Millie has the same kind of coloring and same size as Buttercup and they kept going under Millie looking for yeah, looking for the nipple. It was pretty it was funny. funny. And Millie was just not happy about it. Anyways, you guys all taking care. We need to go look for chicken eggs. I let them free range so there's a chance that they didn't lay any egg where they need to. So if that's the case, then we need to, we need to like basically close them all off. The reason why I closed them off wasn't because they were dying because they weren't laying eggs where they were supposed to lay eggs. So let's go check for eggs. Nothing. What the heck? Chickens, where are you laying the eggs? I blame you, rooster. We gotta lock these guys back up. Hennifer, you have one job. You know what that is? To lay eggs in the box. Why don't you like laying eggs in the box? I don't know. So I'm gonna force them to lock, I'm gonna force lock them up because basically, if you let them free range, they start laying eggs all up there as if it's a freaking Easter egg hunt. And as cool as that sounds, it's really not that fun to have to walk around looking for your eggs every single morning. So we're gonna lock these guys back up. They had a couple days. Maybe that's what I'll do is like four days in, one day out or something like that. That way, I like letting them free range. It's just, you know. They to kind of do chicken things kind of run around scratch peck whatever um and i basically just sacrifice a few eggs nothing too crazy but i eat eggs every single morning so i get pissed when they don't lay eggs in their actual coop they lay eggs but they're not laying them in the right spot so anyways they're all locked back up we did not lose any we've got nine how are these guys doing no see there's only two four six left are there any in there yeah, there's one up here. One? So yeah. seven. So we've got seven males left, which there's more males in there for sure, but we separated the males and we've been we've been catch, clean, and cooking, which is what we're gonna do a little bit later. But um, animals, they're taken care of. So now comes the fun part. Everything is nice and fed quail. We've got like six or seven of them left. You guys are gonna see low catch and cook, hopefully, with those guys as well. But Bonzo's favorite day ever is a frog leg day. And uh, we've got a bunch of big frogs down the pond. You guys, if you guys missed the first video, we shot them with a 22. Easy peasy. Today we're like, you know what, boys? You know what, boys? Let's go frog hunting in a freaking windstorm. Cheese and freaking rice. This is ridiculous out here, folks. We want to make it a little bit more challenging, as if 99.9 .9 mile an hour wind isn't challenging enough. Hey, let's whip out the old slingshot. Something that I've never even tried to use to dispatch bullfrogs in my entire life. Um, but we got to get a little target practice in. We got to see if any of us are actually accurate enough to kill a frog. So you guys stay tuned. Boom! Right here, folks. I ordered this thing about a year ago thinking, hey, I want to learn how to shoot a slingshot. And I never learned. But I found it the other day and I was like, Bonzo, this is what we're going to use to kill some frogs next time. This is a high-end bougie looking slingshot. I mean, it's, how do, yeah, that's how you use it. So what we're going to do is we've got, we've got quite a few metal balls. There's also some of these little plastic. I don't know what they are. Like, not plastic. like wood. Wood? There's I something. Know. What should I shoot? Hey, let's go inside the shop. It's a little windy. All right, so here's here's the plan. We've got this target set up right here. Millie, you better watch out. You're going to get shot. This is our target. Actually, that'll be our target. Right here. You see that, Millie? You want to go bullfrog hunting? You can't come with us because you're going to scare him. I'll give you bullfrog, but you can't come with us hunting. This is our target. That's about the size of those cats down there, and we'll probably be, I don't know, eight to ten yards away. I'm going to try these little plastic wood balls first, 
and then go to the metal and just see how accurate we really are. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta place your ball, there's a little hole right in the middle of your little sleeve thing. I learned this in Mexico. We, I was with Juan Carlos, and he had me stay at a couple of his buddy's house. One of them was really good at slingshot, he taught me kind of how to shoot it. It's a lot different than, oh, it's a little bit different than what you guys might be used to seeing. Most people, when they think of a slingshot, you put your ball right there and you just, most people think of a slingshot, they do this. No, you go like this. And you can actually aim because right here is where basically you're gonna hit every time. So I'm gonna try to hit this, see what happens here. Hopefully no one will get my get, get this going here, just in case, you never know. Any idea? It bounced off. Give me a metal one. Let's try a metal one. I was kind of being a weenie because I wasn't sure what to expect. But we'll try a metal. Mill, Millie, back up. I don't want you getting pegged. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. That went through. Oh yeah. Dude, oh, it went yeah. through, it hit back there, and it came back over here. Really? Yeah. I mean, see, I'm not terribly ac inaccurate. Look at that guy. Nelly, what do you think? I think we got a good chance. I want to I wanna try, like, a smaller... All right, see if you can hit the cow. Okay, all right, all right. If I can hit the cow, then it's game over. Close. Where'd I hit? Oh, right there. Oh, I wasn't far. Do you have to come investigate every shot? She comes in and she's like, nope, you're toast. Nelly, come here. You're toast. All right, let me try... Okay, I need to try something... Like, yeah, let me try that stamp. Cause like, I don't, I know how to get it close, but I don't know exactly like what I'm looking here and where it's hitting. You know what I'm saying? So like, I need to put this there and then see where it hits so then I know where to adjust. I'm getting close, but I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm perfectly accurate quite yet. So on this one, I'm gonna put this, the circle right to where I can just see it right here and see where it hits. So high and left. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. See if I can adjust to that. Am I just a little high? Nope, right here. Oh, a little low. All right, so I'm gonna try to hit the actual circle. I think I hit here. Again? There's two holes. Yeah, I'm close, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not perfect. Good news, we're not losing our ball. It's always a good day when you can find your ball. All right, we can do this. High and right. This thing's not the most accurate thing in the world. Let me get one more. One more. If I'm off, you you might be the deal. I don't know if I'm. I've never shot one before. You've never shot one? No. Millie, what makes you think that's a good idea? She is absolutely oblivious. Millie, get out of the shooting range. Where'd that one go? Oh, I shot way high. No, I just hit that one. That was already there. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you hit it again. I hit the exact same spot. I think so. Really? I literally saw that like go you in. saw it hit. Mm-hmm. So I hit this. So I'm accurate. I just didn't hit what I'm supposed to hit is what you're telling me. So it's inaccurate. Oh, okay. There you go. Good luck. <laughs> yep, just give her a heck. I don't know where Where'd you hit? I heard it. We need to change sides. Yeah, let's change sides. You think that side? There's not really any holes on this side. Let's try that. Yep. I think you hit high. High? Yeah. Try again. Still high? high. <laughs> that one over there. <laughs> 10 feet to the left. Yeah. What's going it's on? When it, it's when it released, it like got caught in there and it just went that way. I saw it, I was like, so, so it just didn't hit where it was supposed yeah, to hit. Yeah, it, it just didn't release straight. You're telling me you're not, you're not Chris? I'm not. You want to, you want a gun on this one? We might, we might not be killing <laughs> we, with We this. might not be. I mean, I think you, you're better than me, but I don't know. It's, it's going to be, a it's going to be luck. It's going to be tough. I need to get, I need to get better practice, but let me try one more shot here. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not super accurate. I think, I, I think we just go and just, you know what I mean? Just give it, give it one of them. See what happens. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, we made it down to the pond. Now we gotta do some scouting. This is where things are gonna. We better be quiet. There might be some. There might even be some right here. I don't see any. But I'm gonna go grab the old slingshot. Wow, this is, it's kind of kind of depressing that I don't see any. Normally we see someone. Anyways, I'm going to get a slingshot. So Bonzo, he is going to have the net. So the idea is I'm going to shoot him and whether it kills him or just stuns him doesn't really matter. It'll give him enough time to grab the net, this little fishing net, and scoop him up, and throw him in the bucket. The old one-two punch, folks. If I actually hit a frog and kill a frog with a slingshot, well, I'll be pretty surprised. All right, we're loaded up. We're on the prowl. I don't know why there's no, none of them right here. Where'd they all go? Oh, big boy. Sometimes they'll come up and get air. I might just smoke them right in the dome. Just don't, we'll just not move and see if he comes back. That's a, that's a big boy though, that's what we need. Was, yeah. I can see him, he's just, he's Where under the water. He's right there. Hit right behind him. Got him, oh, oh, no, he's out there. I 
hit him. No, no, he's out. He's out further, further, further. I hit him. Oh, dude, I, I smoked him. him. He, I saw. Well, let's see if he floats back up. I, dude, I, I absolutely smoked him though. Dang it! I, I actually hit him though. Yeah. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty surprised. Dang it! I actually hit one. Just didn't kill him. Rats. See, sound decently accurate. And that is a giant barrel, but. Got him. Oh, swam off. Dude, I hit him right in the face. I hit him in the face, Bonzo. What am I supposed to do here? I smoked that one right in the jaw. What the heck? Maybe slingshot's not powerful enough. I feel like that would, if you hit him in the dome, you would think it would stun him enough. Yeah. Problem is we just gotta get right up on top of him to where yeah. I can shoot him and, and then net him at the same time. All right, let's keep walking. Where'd all the frogs go? What the heck? Oh, I hit him, I hit him, get him, get him, get him. Lower, 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 lower. Did you get him? Did you get him? Did you get him? No. Nope. I didn't see him even swim out. There's like nothing in the net. I was a millisecond from letting go. That would have been the shot too. Yeah, right, right on him. Oh, come on. I was like just about to let go. That would have been the shot too, right on top of them. Would have had the most force. Shoo! Well, folks, it is the next day. We got Farmer Brown here. He's killing it. We freaking sucked. Um, we pretty much ran through all the frogs, hit a few, missed a few. Um, but we're at it again today. So we're gonna go out, kind of the same thing. Grab the old sling of shot. Where's that thing at? Oh, here we go. The old slingshot here. Um, this thing's absolute mint. Anyways, we're gonna go round two. Basically, it, I mean, it could be the same frog that we shot and hit or missed, or there could be new ones uh, today. We're not really sure. But Bonza really wants the old-fashioned catch and cook. So we're gonna get after it again. We're gonna use the old net tactic to where it's like shoot stun net i think is how it's gonna get done today so you guys stay tuned oh low. it's a little warm up you know it's like before you play baseball you put the little weight on the end of your bat yeah. and you do this and you hit it kind of the same thing baseball guy i mean i played baseball a couple times I was a pitcher i'm lefty bro no i was a pit i was pitcher in first baseman because i was a lefty see if i can hit the boat well i'm not gonna hit the boat i'm gonna hit the trailer Oh, just a little bit high. All right, I think I got it. Wait, how's your net skills going? Oh, it's, I'm doing great. I got it. You got it. All right, I'm gonna grab some more balls. All right, Bonzo, be on the lookout. It's gonna be a quick one. It's gonna be where they just jump and just, you know, just like that. Do you wanna be in front of me or do you wanna go right here? Do you wanna be like here where I shoot and you just net? That might be sure, easier. Sure. That way I'm not worried about hitting you. Don't hit me. We don't please. need a Bonzo getting his eye poked out by the old slingshot. Sure. Imagine if there was a frog call where you could just like make a sound and they just come crawling to you and then just. I think That'd we need sick. a frog decoy. There's a giant on the bank. Do you think I should try to go shoot him and you? I don't know, I don't want to scare him. He's on the bank, he's not even in the water. Got him, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. Oh, oh, come on. I hit him, right in the back. He moved fast. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sweep right here, right here. Yep, down. Hey, you got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. You got him, you got him. Yes. You got him. No, oh. no, hey, hey, Rick, 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 I'm gonna shoot you again. <laughs> he's still a little alive. We got him. We got him! We got him! First shot today. Dude, right in the back. Is he bleeding at all? Oh yeah. You hit him in the mouth, I think. Or the back of the mouth. I don't know. Dude, that's a chungus, bro. He's a little <laughs> he's a little alive. Dude, I think what happened was I hit him and I stunned him to where he just like cause normally when they jump in the water they swim away. Yeah, he just He was move. just sitting there and that's why I was like, oh net right there, because I saw him, he went to the left. Bro, that's big chungus. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know if uh you hit, his tongue's sticking yeah. out. See look, you you hit him. I hit him because you can see his tongue's kind of sticking out. He's not looking too hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yum. We got him finally. That's crazy. How is that happening? The first shot of the day. Yeah. Like after yesterday, I hit him. This dude, he just he stopped. That's that was the difference. I hit some yesterday, but we hit him today and he stopped. And uh we caught him in the net. Finally got the old frog on the slingshot. We're gonna go ahead and walk around and see if we can get any more, just cause one frog's not that money. Even if we don't, we still got to do a little catch clean cook. Yeah, stay tuned. In between, see him in between the boats? If you get this, I'll be impressed. I, the only thing showing is his eye. So if I just get an eye shot. Yeah. Oh, I hit him. I hit him right in the back. Is he there? Sweet, sweet, yep. Sweet, 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 sweet. I don't know if I got down enough. Rip. Oh, 
rip. I hit the, the problem is I hit the water. I hit just a little low. It was yeah. pretty. It was pretty close though. Oh, there's another one. <gasps> oh, oh, right here. All right, this is an e this is an easy shot. I hit him. He swam off pretty good. I wouldn't say the slingshot's the most lethal weapon. No. It's fun though. Like when you hit him, it's kind of yeah, satisfying. Because like I'm I'm hitting him almost every shot. That one was a little low. I hit the water. That one I 100% hit him. But I don't think it's, it's it's as lethal. You got it. You basically have to hit him in the head enough to stun them, and then that's for. And then you gotta have a guy like Bonds to come at him for you. But I'm the, I don't know. I should probably research. Has anyone actually killed anything? Like, can you kill stuff with this? Like a squirrel or something? I feel like I'm like decently accurate to where we could try it. Maybe frogs are hardy sons of guns. So, anyways. Well, we're gonna keep going. Dude, did you see that? When I hit the water, it hit in the, the BB or with the ball bearing went like that. You can see the bubble trail. Yeah, yeah. Let me, I'll shoot again and see if it does it again. Watch the bubble trail. Oh, maybe that one was interesting, but I suck. What if I just float it up? How sick would that be? That'd be pretty cool. Oh! Big Chungus. He was on that log and he just jumped off. Oh, really? Honestly, let's just go get the gun. I mean, I, we've proven, hey, you can stun a frog with a slingshot. One second, you can kill him. Uh, I don't know if he'll come back. That was Big Chungus. Let's go grab the 22 and let's get another one just so we don't have to only cook one of the uh, the frogs. We got to get more than one. Bonzo's starving. So yes, sir. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this. Bonzo's going to be on pew pew duty and we're going to see if we can get one more. Right there, right there, right. See him right yeah. in between the two weed patches. Yeah. Light him up, Bonzo. Let's see it. Ready? Yep. Oh, got him. <laughs> I think it's dead. <laughs> he went flying. <laughs> All right, let's go get him. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> look at. Oh yeah. Look at Junior. He's a little more dead than yours. Come here, Rick. Oh, he's got mud on. Let me wash his mud off. Give him, he's just giving it a hard dangle. He's toast though. He's toast my ghost. I would say if you're gonna hunt bullfrogs and you legally can shoot them with the old 22, that is the most lethal. Not, believe it or not, not the slingshot. But we got two frogs. It's time to go clean and cook these guys. Stay tuned. Boom. There you have it, folks. We're gonna do a little cleaning. I know I've, if you guys are new to the channel, well, this is a cleaning frog. If you aren't new to the channel, you've probably already seen this. I'll keep it short, simple, sweet for you guys. So what you do, take your frog, grab him like right here and give it a nice slice behind the neck. Right, I guess behind his head, not his neck. So go ahead and just cut, just cut the skin. You don't want to go too deep on him. Okay. Once you've got that initial cut, take a pair of pliers or needle nose or some some kind. And what you're going to do is just grab onto this skin. Then I grab onto their head and give it one continuous pull. Just go ahead and pull it all the way down its legs, just like that. And that's how you clean a frog. Then what you're going to want to do, you can take a knife and cut up the joint. Cut that off. Cut that off. And if you've got a good pair of kitchen shears, just cut them right here. Done. Boom. There's your frog leg. So we're going to go ahead and clean up the other one. And uh, we're not going to fry them. I know. We're going to try doing a little grilling. And we've got a secret. We've got secret seasoning we've been working on that uh, we're going to we're gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. We're going to try it. A couple different ones on these frogs and see how they taste. You guys stay tuned. Boom, folks. This is what we're talking about right here. This is some secretive stuff. Bonzo's been working on just cooking up the... He's, the kid's obsessed with frog legs, and he's like, we got to do better than just throwing it in the fryer. So he's over there chefing stuff up. And so right here, this is a wild game seasoning. This is an all meat seasoning, and this is like a mesquite barbecue seasoning. These are all prototypes. This is the first time it's going to be introduced on my channel. These are going to be Ducks products, potentially. I would say potentially because there's a chance that it won't be. But Ducks, we're working on it, folks. We're coming out with the, the seasonings for your wild game meats. Now, for those of you guys that duck hunt or frog hunt, anything wild game, we're designing stuff according to that. So I would say the old all meat, that's just a little trusty. So this is, we're going to throw this on two of them. We're gonna throw just an even, since you were the chef behind this Bonzo, you tell me, is that enough? Yeah, I'd, I'd flip it and do the same thing. On the, so is it pretty, it's pretty potent? Yeah, I mean it's... It's not too bad? It's not too potent. No, yeah, good, a good dusting. Yeah, I like that. You like that? Yeah. Okay, pack it in. Okay, so we've got the all meat done. Next up, we're going with the wild game seasoning. Now this is gonna be really good seasoning to cover all of your wild game. Make it taste not so gamey, which I know some of you guys like. But listen, it, it, it complements it. It it's doesn't spicy. It doesn't take it away. Just need to get this freaking lid out. Here, open, just open it and punch it through. Open the big side. There you go. 
Look at this kid, he knows what he's doing. It's not gonna take away from the flavor, it's gonna enhance it, but also cover up a little bit of that wildness of it, so. Ooh, spicy. So we're gonna go a little bit of dusting on this guy. I think that's sufficient. That's perfect, yeah. Okay, pack it in just a little bit. Yep, see, it's so spicy, the frog's even kicking. Look at that. And no, it's not alive, that's just, that's what happens when you put, when you put dope seasoning on frog. So if you put a seasoning on a frog and it doesn't kick, you're doing something wrong. Last but not least, this is the old barbecue. Mesquite action. A little smoky. Ooh, spicy. Or smoky, not spicy. That one was spicy. Yeah. Dude, look at it, see how spicy it is? Oh, look at those two. Look. <laughs> They're dancing. They're, kicking. they're having a dance party. I don't know what to tell you guys, they're not alive. So it's not yeah. like it's cruel and like the frog's feelings are hurt right now. Like he's not doing too hot right now. It's just, that's what happens. When you put dope seasoning on frogs, this is what they do. So that's how you know the seasoning is good. So this is gonna be a smoky. It's a little bit bigger chunks yeah. in this. It's the parsley. Ooh, getting fancy with the old parsley action. Pack that in there. What do you think about that? Yeah. You like it? I've never had these on frog legs. Well, no. We'll have to see. Dude, I'm telling you, the spicy, it's getting them. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw this on onto my little panini maker. This thing's a classic. So we've got three different flavors of froggy goodness. We got the spicy, we got the smoky, and the all meat, which is just basically designed to where you can literally put it on anything, and it tastes freaking delicious. But like I said, this is gonna be the first introduction on my channel. We've been doing all the taste testing and got it narrowed down to these three. Um, and so we're gonna throw them ultimate test frog legs. If it don't taste good on frog legs, then I ain't want it. So we're gonna give it to the test. We're gonna put it to the test here and see kind of what uh, what's all going on. Once this girl heats up, we're gonna throw them on and see how they turn out. Woo! Yes, sir. <laughs> ben, absolutely not. Yep. And yep, going on hot. We've had grilled frog legs at one time, definitely. Yeah. They were fire. They were really, really good. I remember that. We we had them one time. And they're absolutely fire. So. I don't know, we gotta make sure we cook them thorough, thoroughly through and give it the old taste test. You guys stay tuned. <whistles> yes, sir. Look at these guys. Oh, oh, Get a little crusty action here. Oh God, yeah. I've never cooked frog meats on here, so if I didn't botch them. I mean, I've seen worse. So these are the two all meats. This was the wild game and then this was the more mesquite smoky grilling type vibe. So we're gonna let these guys cool off. Stick this meat in our mouth. Bonzo, which one are you going at? This is, this is a you thing. Which one are you going uh, after? So you got, here's your all meat. Yep. That's your mesquite, smoky, that's your spicy. I'm going to try the all meat first. Ooh. That's that's probably my favorite, but I don't know. All right. They're all so good. All right, get in there and get, right. get after there, buddy. This is my fork? Sure. Okay. This whatever. is the best part. Yeah, we all the, know that. the nug. Yep. Everybody loves the nug. How's the nug? Mm. Is it fire? This is so much better than just deep fat frying it. You guys ready for this? That's so good. Whoa. All right. Game changer, isn't it? That I, I might have to agree with you that it's better than deep fat frying. And you guys know me, I fry everything. Look at that. Mm. Fall off the bone meat. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. When I tried the season the first time, I was like, it'd be good on frogs. Mm. It's good on frogs. But that's delicious on frogs. All right, next up. Spicy. I'm gonna go spicy. I'm gonna take this little nugget. You go for that. And yeah, you can have the rest here. Oh spicy nugget. Wow. Woo. I hit you right there. It's not too spicy. Hit you right, hit you right in the kisser. But it's good. That's pretty good. Well, yeah. It's like a chili. Yeah. Chili powder. Chili powder. Yeah. It'd be like good on that. duck. It'd take the game it, it, it would take the game out of duck. Now we're going on to the smoky mesquite. Mmm. I like that one. That one's up there. Mmm. Yeah. They don't, dude, they're all good. If you like spicy, the wild game. If you're just kind of neutral and you just want it to taste good, the all meat, and if you like that smoky barbecue taste, then you go after the old grilling seasoning. I would say they're all pretty good. Pull drat, you, you gotta decide which one's the best. This is grilling, that's mesquite. This is all meat. That's, that's all, meat. all meat, that's, that's spicy. spicy. Yep. So there's like a chunk right there that yep. we didn't eat. I like spicy. You like spicy? I do, I'm a spicy guy. It's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. It's just got a little zing to it. It's got a little, a little tang. tang. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it better than frying it though. Do you really? So you, we're on the grilling train yeah. now. Everybody's on the grill train? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're changing it up, folks. We're on the grilling train, okay? So what's your next choice? We'll that's the all, all meat. The that's, all meat? That's just like the all purpose. You could throw it on literally anything and make it taste good. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts on that guy? It reminds me of like a 
like a chicken. A chicken. It tastes a lot like chicken. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah. a. It's a like generic. A chicken. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a grilled chicken. A yeah. little bit of garlic on mm -hmm. there. A little butter, salt, yeah. pepper, all that good stuff. It's good though. It would Pretty taste good. good on steak, like you're saying. Yeah. You like you like that on the steak? Hamburger yeah. too. That's Ooh, my favorite. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah. On, it would be good on hamburger. All right. Last but not least, we've got the little smoky mesquite grilling seasoning. See what you think about that guy. That's really good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think a little barbecue sauce, a little, yeah, little, little dunk, a yeah. mm -hmm. little barbecue sauce. That. So if, if you were to pick one for the king frog seasoning, what would you pick? The all meat. I'm going all meat. Me too. Yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, it's not that I don't like the spicy and I don't like the smoky, they're but close. they're very mm -hmm. spicy. It, it's, it's spicy and it's smoky. That's what it is. I like that just kind of natural chicken taste of it. Not so much like the grilling side of things, like the, the smoky, but like if you had the smoky one, you put some barbecue sauce on it, fire. The spicy one with like some ranch, fire. Yeah. Or you get just kind of the all-purpose seasoning right there. I think we're all going to take a vote. I think the all-purpose kind of takes the dub on this, but they were all absolutely fantastic. So if you guys are going to go out there and catch some frogs, don't be afraid to mix it up a little bit. You don't have to fry them. We've always been frying them and it's because it's easy and it tastes good, but you like your own better. Mm -hmm. You like it better? 100%. I like it better too. Um, it's just not as greasy and heavy. I feel like I could eat a lot more. Yeah. Like I could yeah. probably house at least like 37 frogs, like for sure. <laughs> like, dude, that would taste it so good. But when it's fried, it's like, it just, you, you know, you just yeah. feel like, it's not that it's bad. It's just, you, you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're wondering, can you kill a frog with a slingshot? Mm, plausible. Is that the right word? Plausible? Not probable? No, plausible. Yeah. I watch Mythbusters. Plausible's a word. Yes. Isn't that what that means? It means sure. it's like possible, but good luck. Uh, Mace, yeah. is that what it means? What? What does plausible. plausible mean? Is it like, it's possible, but good luck? Is that kind of what that means? When I watch Mythbusters, they're like confirmed, meaning like yeah. it's true, busted, meaning it's not possible, yeah. and plausible is like it could happen, but it's, you know, a lot of variables. I believe you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with it then. It, 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 it's it's plausible to shoot a frog with a slingshot. Wouldn't recommend it. Would recommend the old 22, especially when you got Sharpshooter McGee like this. And uh, we'll take them out for you. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be looking forward to the new seasons. We're still working on them. They're a prototype stage, but we're gonna be coming out with stuff to put on all your wild game so that way it tastes freaking fire. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and peace.